mtazamaji tuandamani hadi tamati naitwa Ahmed Jumabalo ukipenda ni ite AJB na mwenzetu Rogaishara ni Byron Abuli. Nami naitwa Beatrice Gatonyangetich karibu kwenye taarifa zetu jioni ya leo mtazamaji. Tunaanza na taarifa ifuatayo. Rais William Ruto amewakosoa wale Uh, wanaopinga msaada wa fedha wa mwaka 2023 akiwa rai kutoingiza siasa katika swala hilo akizungumza kwenye hafla ya 20 ya maombi ya kitaifa jijini Nairobi Ruto alitoa wito wa uhakiki huru wa mapendekezo ya msaada huo bila kuzingatia maslahi ya kibinafsi na ya kisiasa makala ya 20 ya maombi ya kitaifa yaliyojiri wakati mitazamo mseto ikisheni kuhusiana na mazungumzo ya maridhiano na msuada wa fedha wa mwaka 2023 yaliandaliwa chini ya kaulimbiu maridhiano kati ya Mungu na mwanadamu akihutubia washiriki takriban 2500 wa hafla hiyo Rais William Ruto alichukua fursa hiyo kugusia msuada huo Our commitment is under test only bold decisions will enable us make the best of this opportunity to unlock the possibilities of the Kenya we all want for ourselves and for our children it is time to be bold and brave rais ruto aliwarai wakosoaji wa msoda huo kutathmini upya mapendekezo yaliyomo akisema yatatoa suluhu kwa baadhi ya changamoto zinazowakumba wa Kenya ikiwemo ukosefu wa ajira if you feel pain you are alive but if you feel the pain of others you are a human being we know we witness every day millions of our young people confronting us in our markets in villages in our streets we all travel the 1400 and 11 informal settlement slums in Kenya we see those people rais alikariri msimamo wa serikali yake dhidi ya mikopo kutoka nje maoni ya rais iliongo mkono na naibu wake Rigathi Gashagwa na waziri mwenye mamlaka makuu Msalia Mdavadi we all agree that borrowing is not the way out of our current situation that our debt has increased from about 4 trillion to 9 trillion in 5 6 short years we must reconcile ourselves to that truth when the president of kenya says we need to make a contribution to provide shelter to those that do not have it are we vultures so reconciliation is also sacrifice for the better we want to plead and persuade all leaders also to reconcile with the truth and the reality because even as we reconcile with god and men we also need to reconcile with the truth mbali na matozo ya 3% ya mishahara kugaramia nyumba za gharama nafuu msoda huo pia unapendekeza nyongeza ya ushuru thamani wa ziada bidhaa za petroli kutoka asilimia sita hadi asilimia sita hatua ambayo huenda ikawa na athari kubwa mno kwa bei ya bidhaa na huduma homo nchini